So, anyways, we are going to go on. The other thing I want you to also understand is this. You see, the people that are not cheering you on, the people who challenge you the most that creates the adversity in you or that the obstacle, the challenges to you in your life, understand this. Okay, so this may sound like a surprise, but they actually are helping you. They are helping you in your craft. They are helping you in your work. They are helping you in your purpose. They are going out of their way to help you, to help you honing on your craft, honing on your gift, honing on your blessing, honing on what makes you you, hone in on your best part of you so that you can be the best you that you can be. They just don't know that they actually help you. That they are actually diehard fans of yours. Yes, I will say it. You people that challenge you that you can't stand or people that come at you the wrong way and makes you sometimes feel like, oh, it's okay. But anytime you feel like that, oh, remember this. Please replace this that. Wow, that's a really diehard fan. They are willing to put anything and everything online. And they are just focused on me. Yes. Your haters are that focused on you. To make you become the best you can be. They are actually your diehard supporters. I said it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure some of you are lying, like are laughing like, what did this woman just say? No, that person hates me. Yes, they may. And yes, they do. But if you look at it, the, remember, everything changes. When you change the way you look at it, it begins to look different. And I am telling you, they are actually your die hard supporters. You see, they were solely committed. These people are so committed to your success. So they do everything imaginable, everything imaginable to push you to the wall, to push you to the ground, to push you into another space. But here's the thing. Every single time that they push you, they push you so you would feel like staying knocked down. But here's the truth of what they're actually doing. They are actually, I kid you not, they are actually <laughs> doing you the best favor they can be. Because all that die hard stuff they're doing and coming at you, cussing you, beating you down, telling you you can't make it, you can't get anywhere, nothing can be done. People have have been there and done it, they couldn't do it, and you think you can. What makes you think you have what it takes? What makes you think that you... Here's the thing. Every single down the time they beat you to the ground, and you feel like there is nothing to do. From this point on, you are down. But just within those few moments or those few seconds, stand up and say these words. This is training ground for the real fight. This is training ground for the real fight. Because the real fight is coming. Even the person who is training me doesn't even know when the fight is coming. You don't know where the fight is coming. But you can rest assured. The fight is coming. So during that moment that you're getting knocked down, during that moment that you're getting beaten, during that moment that you feel like I could not take it anymore, as long as you have breath in you, you can go a little further. And the further you go, that's where your victory is. That's where you find 
that goal. That's where you find the pressing. Remember they said what they said about the olive tree or the olive oil. When you get that olive, you have to crush it. You have to do all kinds of things to this olive before you can actually enjoy it. Another one comes in mind. I don't know about the rest of you if you know what a palm nut or a palm nut tree is or the palm nut. The palm nut oil can be used for cosmetics, lotions, hair products. I mean, it's amazing what you can do from that nut. You can get just the outside when you pound it with when you pound it, you add a little bit of water and boil it and then you pound it, you get the oil from it. And then you you can also make soup with it, the rest of it. Then the shaft, you can dry it and use it as a fire starter. Okay? The little nut in the middle of that palm nut has a um, a tough shell around it. A brown tough shell. When you take that tough shell and break it, you can use it to start. You can use it as charcoal because it's slow burning. It is slow burning, so it'll warm your food faster, I mean quicker. And in addition to that, it'll last longer. So instead of getting more wood for charcoal, you could keep using that over and over for a very long time. You see? And then, after that tough nut is taken out or the kernel is taken out, out of the this nut, you get another round nut that when you, sometimes when you chew it, you get this liquid oily thing. But when you pound it and then press it, you get nut oil from it. That oil can be used to make lotions. This is only from the palm nut. It's amazing. But look at all the stuff, the beauty the, and the productivity and all the stuff you can get from this nut by crushing it, by pounding it, by burning and all this stuff. That's what you are. You're that versatile. You're that profitable. You're that productive. And you need the adversity to come in for you to know your best potential your biggest potential and how far you can go and how much you can be, how much you can produce. That is the beauty. Don't let none of the stuff that people tell you or your haters come at you and tell you because they're just chomping at the bits to cut you down to size. Don't let the stuff they say keep you down. Stand up. Rise. You can do this. You can still stand up for you. You can still be the person you want to be. So every time the crushing happens, tell yourself something beautiful is going to come out of this. Something beautiful is going to come out of it. I just know it. There's no giving up. And you know the other thing? That palm nut tree... It stays for a long time. And you know the tree itself? When Even when the tree is down and it's too old to produce more and it's down, they get palm wine from the tree. Hold up. This one tree gets the nuts for the soup, oil, lotion. And then when the tree is down and they feel like there's nothing to do, they can tap it and get palm wine. Wine. Ooh, and palm wine is, please, those of you who have never tasted palm wine, please look for it. It's a wine that's tapped from the palm tree. And when it's tapped early in the morning, I, I, I mean, I spent a lot of time in Ghana. I was 15 when I left Ghana as a kid. So I've, I, I know a little bit more about palm nut, I mean, and then the palm oil and the, uh, Palm wine. Now, palm wine. Mm. Okay, my mouth is watering. It shouldn't be happening. It just tells me how much I've missed Ghana. Palm wine is white and it's sweet. 
It tastes like milk and honey. Period. That's the best way I could describe this. It tastes like milk and honey. And when you smell it, the sweetness is just amazing. And when you drink it, it's smooth. It's gentle. And it just, it tastes good. Here, see, I don't drink. But that's that. that is the only wine I will take at least a couple of sips of. It doesn't give me a headache. And most people that I know that, I, that have tried it, my aunts and uncles, they all say that they don't get a hangover when they get drunk. But I'm not promoting alcoholism. I hope you guys are listening. I'm just giving an analogy to this tree, how versatile it is, but it's because of all these hard things have to happen, this adversity that's happened, the difficulty and all that it goes through. And look how beautiful the stuff it produced. And it's very important for us to understand this. Okay? So, once you understand how versatile you can be, how much more productive you can be, the pressing that you're going through, the pain of all the adversity, all the difficult stuff and everything that's coming at you, understand it is making you become stronger. Stronger in the sense that you begin to learn to find your center, your core, to find your peace. And the more that adversity comes, that resilience builds, you begin to find your peace. And when you find that peace and know that you are all right, you are all the one that could keep pushing. So no matter how much people push, you won't break. You will not crack under pressure. Because you will stand. And once you do that. Oh oh, look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. You can't be broken. You cannot be taken down. You just stay stronger. And when you know that core. Truth about yourself. Look out world. Your haters know, then they start getting scared. There's the, the thing. There's those who, who are putting you down start getting scared because they realize, crap, we did all that and this person is still standing. And you know what starts happening? They are actually become, sometimes they will become your uh, advocates. They will try and talk bad about you but when they are talking bad about you, it sounds more like they're flattering you. And that's the beauty of it. Oh, it feels good. Okay. So always know your peaceful place, your calm place. It's a place where nothing can take you down. Nothing can take you to a place where you feel like you're going to lose. And your joy cannot be taken. Your laughter cannot be taken. Your peace of mind cannot be taken. And I always tell people, become the brick wall. And they realize they can't break you. Nothing can take you down. You're still standing. Okay? You may bend a little with the wind and as things go, but you will not break. You would always be that person that's filled with your joy, your light, and nothing can come against you. So embrace your adversity and, and go through it as he's coming at you and realize that you are always on point and nothing can take you down no matter how much they come at you no matter how much they tell you something negative and I'll tell you when this happened to me I remember when I decided to go back to school to do my master's in marriage and family therapy, I had a lot of naysayers. One of them in particular got to me. And, oh boy, it was not funny. I was livid. Livid. <laughs> I was so livid. I'll get back to you on that uh, once uh, we come back from the 
break with 